Hi, welcome back to Lily's Creative Crafts, and today we're going to make another Lola Lipsy craft out of this tissue box. We're going to be making a Lola Lipsy home for Lola Lipsy mittens. Oh, okay, um, but don't you think that's a little small for me? Yeah, you're right. What can we do about that? I don't know. I know. Okay, there she is. Now Mittens is much smaller and she can fit in her house. Right, Mittens? Oh, yeah. Now I can fit in this little house. Good. And your voice shrunk with you. What you're going to need is an empty tissue box to start with. And um, I asked my mom to cut with the X-Acto knife up here, across here, and down here. And now this can open up and this is going to be the inside of our house. We're going to need scissors, hot glue, buttons to decorate uh, right here, some ribbon, which I'm going to get in a second, and Velcro. All right, so out of Velcro, I cut this little piece. I got some blue silk ribbon and I'm gonna cut it in half. So I'm going to put some glue up here. I'm going to push our ribbon into it. You're going to fold this over and get your Velcro. I'm going to see where it is. Where it'll land. Put a little bit of glue there. Stick my Velcro into it with both pieces on it. My son, um glue on top of the top piece and then put your ribbon down on it. You're going to let that dry completely before you open up your house again, which is fine because now we're going to work on the door for the house. It's actually a stationary door. You're not going to be able to open this door. So yeah. So um, what you're going to need for the door is some scrap of paper. I Let's use this brown so it looks kind of like blue. We'll also use this for the flooring in our house. Before we get started on our door, we have to trim our little ribbon. And let's see if we can open this box. Just put your finger in, pull up, and it comes down. We're going to use this. When you cut this out, you're actually going to do it around it. Like, it'll make sense when I do it. You're going to cut around so that it actually fits over your door. We're just going to use the glue stick for this part. And we're going to run it along that. And we're going to stick it onto our house like that. All right, now we're going to make the doorknob out of a button. Then I'm going to add a couple more little decorations. Now remember, this is a stationary door. You're never going to open it. I'm just going to put like a big yellow button right here. Look like a little window. It's just like the little oopsies door. Okay, so now we're going to work on the inside. And you're going to need yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it around and around in there to make a cute little rug. So I'm going to put some glue along the edge like that and then lay the yarn on top. It. You're gonna lay across. I'm not gonna film me making this whole rug just a little bit of it because this is gonna take me a while. So, yeah, I'll see you in a All right, so I finished the rug. So now we're gonna get to work on the, you know, wallpaper. I'm going to see how far I need to trim it down so that it fits in my house. So I'm just gonna cut straight across. Make sure you stay kind of like at the same. Okay. And now that we've got this, we're going to see if it'll slide into our house. Now I know this is mittens themed, but we're going to make the like 
the back wall ones. And the side walls will be this pretty paper. So now that we've got that, I'm gonna make a snip up here. Okay. And that snip is where I'm gonna cut to make the wall paper. So now I got two sheets of paper. They'll be really nice wallpaper. And once you've got blue on your paper, you're going to slide it into your box. Just push it. Oh, can I try it out? Yes. So Mins is walking around on her rug. It's very big. It could also double as a bed. <laughs> she likes the wallpaper, I think. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. So we're just going to put the glue on the edges. Crank up the glue stick. Okay, so we've wallpapered both the side panels, and now we're going to do the back panel. Here's some blue paper. So, how we're going to do this is, we're going to shut our little box and place our tissue box on top of the paper. We're going to trace the outside. So now we're going to cut this out and we're going to stick it on the outside. Shove our paper back there. So we're going to put some glue on it and then stick it back there. On your box. And you've wallpapered all your spots. Looks very nice. We're going to do the floors. Um, do what you did earlier where you trace. So I'll be right back with the floors papered. All right, so now um, I've papered the floors. I even papered around this rug. The inside looks pretty nice. Now you can just leave it like this. This is the structure, it's done. Here's your house, but now I'm going to make some little changes to the outside and I'm going to make a couple furnitures. I'm not going to film most of the furniture making, but I'm going to film some of it. Now, um, you're going to need cardboard for this part. I'll show you, I'll get cut out these pieces and then I'll show you how to construct your roof. All right, so now we're going to have this and you just fold it in half. This is actually like shiny cardboard on the other side. You obviously don't have to have shiny cardboard. And we're just gonna place it on top of our little house and glue it on with some hot glue. And it's gonna make a really cute like roof. So I'm gonna do that now. So just hold it on for a few seconds. And then just go on to the other side. Put some glue there. Really easy. Okay, so here's our finished outside house. It looks really nice. And now let's go on the inside. You can still peel back your Velcro and go on the inside. And it looks really cute in there. And now we're going to make some furniture for our house. And I'll be right back with my finished product. Alright, so I finished this little desk, it's very cute, and I'm not sure if I'm going to glue it into the house or not, I'm probably just going to leave it so that I can move it around, but that's the end of this video, I hope you liked it, and let's try out Mittens, she likes her new house a lot, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, um, please subscribe to Unicorn Rainbow's Toys and Dolls, which is subscribing to my part too. Um, bye!